Hi, in this tutorial, I will discuss about uh, global objects available in Sightly. You don't need to inject these objects. These are by default available in your Sightly script. Okay. So I will discuss most commonly and useful uh, objects available in Sightly. Uh, there are two type of object basically. One is uh, the first three you see in green. We used to call it enumerable objects because these objects provide you a value map which contain the information, right? You can access that information. And then other, if you see in the red one, these are Java backed object, right? They have specific information in it. There is a object available in Sightly for the same kind of objects, okay? Let's discuss the first three first, okay? The properties. Basically, this object provide you a component properties. Whatever you save through dialog, you can access those properties using this object without using sling model. Okay, page properties. This object provide you information or the properties of page where your component use. Suppose you you use your component on a particular page, so that page information you can get it through this page properties object. Inherited page properties. Uh, it provide you the inherited properties of page for example suppose there is a particular property which is available on your page and the parent of that page right so those properties parent of that page will be available to your page right so you can access those properties you will be better understand this by demo so let me show you the first three using demo then i will explain the uh, you know later part okay so the first one you will be see here properties so i'm using this object properties object and i'm getting numbers what is that number number is the basically a property available in that component if you see the go to the page and if you see dialog so this numbers i'm using with the name of number if you see the component here i used okay that my number is you will see the first line Okay, number so that that way you can access your properties component properties using comp properties dot uh, name of your property okay the page property uh, by this object you can access your page properties means page information right if you want to access like title so you can use JCR title let me show you the page and go to the JCR content Right. whatever the available property here you can access using this property okay I'm um, right now I'm accessing this JCR dot title so using this the, this property is available okay either you can use dot or you can use square brackets so both way you can access that in if you are using swag square bracket give a square bracket and then give you a property name inherited space property so I'm saying okay give me the title inherited page property so let me explain you so if a property is inheriting from the parent if you have local property then the local property will be available through this object as well if you do not have that local property means if that property is not available on your page and that is present in your parent so through this object this parent property will be available okay let me build it let me deploy it and let me show you this once uh, so after build this information is available if you want I can just change this value just for your purpose and let me show you okay the updated information is available now let me show you the inherited property okay the name uh, title of this page uh, page is STL Sightly so that is available if I remove this let's go to the page and let remove this title of this page Okay, and this here type. Two. Okay, now let's refresh this. So you see now because I removed the title, so this property is also removed because title is not available. But if you see inherited page property, it inherited the parent page title. And what is the parent page title? Uh, what is the title of this en page right this this stl sightly is the child of this en page so if you see in en page this is available right english if i change something wait right, let me change to english so it is accessing the parent page so that way you can use 
inherited page property this is a bit tricky okay you need to understand this whenever you have information it means requirement to you know get the property either from the page or the parent you can use this okay well, this is not available because i removed this title of that page okay okay so that way now let's move to the other uh, object okay so this component this component provide uh, the information of that component whatever the information is available for that component this uh, object provides okay and for the component context right uh, the component context is open for each component right and this is independent of your wcm mode right it is always available to the script right uh, so i'll show you what is this it contains few useful methods so i'll show you one and then later on the rest of the methods you can use it okay this one resource basically it it is a object of current resource like if you drag and drop a component that component on page whatever the node is created that is treated as a current resource right so i'll show you the, the number of the method available like name title and whatever the methods available for resource okay the current resource page this one resource page means means the on the page where you drag and drop that component right so it provide the information of that page like the current page what is the design okay current design uh, there is a design node available to store your template level properties if you have worked with the static templates so there is a node available where all your template level properties are saved right if you know like uh, if you allow components or a particular parses that information is stored also in design node right uh, earlier it was in etc designs but as per the restructure the location has been changed so i'll show you what is it provides some information if you do not add any design node for your site so a by default node is assigned to your site right so this node you have to assign at root of your page if you do not do that then a am itself provide you a default node which is present in libs so i'll i'll show you right i'll show you a method of it what you can use current node basically your whatever the uh, you know object uh, node when you drag and drop the same node is treated as a current node when you drag and drop component and the component node on page is treated as a current node current page you know right on which your component is drag and drop a uh, resource design basically this is the same as the current design right whatever the design node is that is the resource design wcm mode this object is important so it provide you the you know information in which mode you are right it does not provide you the mode name but it always provide you the method which return true false right if you like in edit mode so that there is a method called is edit that method is uh, give true if you are in preview there is a method called is preview that uh, method return true otherwise false so i'll show you one example of each uh, object there the number of the object available i'll give you the documentation you can go through and check the same way you can use it there are other objects as well but those are not much useful in context of sitely if still you have any question related to those objects you can just do a comment i definitely try to answer it okay now let's see the uh, demo of each object okay so this component object as i told you it provide a many uh, component related information so you can get uh, whatever the information available for uh, component like the title group whatever so in in this line uh, what i'm saying okay this is the object and give me the title so this will give you the component title the same uh, component context so from component context you can get the page i'm just using one method the number of methods available i'll give you uh, documentation link you can go through and check it Okay, uh, so I'm saying okay from the component context, give me the page, right? On which page this component is, and then give me the title. So basically, it will give you the comp page title. Uh, current design. So I'm I'm getting the current design path. So though so that you can understand where the current design is, there other methods you can use it. Current node, the path, self-explanatory. It will give the path of my component, which I drag and drop on page. Uh, current page dot path it will give the path of the current page resource path 
it will also give you know it is treated as a resource but it will give you the path of the current node like self-explanatory uh, resource page obviously on which page i am it will give the path resource design path again it will also give the design node path right here this one right uh, wcm mode edit and wcm mode preview so i am giving edit whatever edit is available for this and preview is available for this so that means if i am in edit mode this method will give true and this method will will give false but when i will be in preview mode the first one will show you the false and the second one will give you true so let me deploy it and let's see okay okay so the deployment is done and when i refresh it there's this much of information is available okay the design node is because i did not set any design node for my site so it will it is giving me the default one the libs one and then again node path obviously this is my component and i drag and drop it uh, current page this is the current page again the resource this is the same resource resource page obviously the resource pages and the, as i said now resource design and the uh, this current design is same node design is same so it is also giving me default one okay uh, component context is empty and because okay i removed the page title so that's why this information is empty so let me save it okay so this information is available now component context as i show you uh, from component context i'm getting page which page i am on and then i'm getting the title so that's why it is giving me the title of current page uh, this last one first one edit is true because i am in edit mode preview is false because i am in edit mode so it it's it's in you know false let me go to the preview mode okay let me refresh it so see now now preview is true and edit is false so that way you can manipulate the wcm objects right this is important uh, many time you will be using this okay uh, so if you have any question do comment thank you very much